Well, democracy is necessary because without it, you end up with uh, exceptionally bad economic policies, which are responsible for, for the fact that the European Union is the sick patient of the global economy. It's the reason why, uh, of all the regions around the world, Europe has done the worst since the financial crisis in 2008. Because of lack of democracy, we, let me put it very simply. If in the United States, uh, the economic outcomes were so bad as they are here, if they still had 11-12% average uh, unemployment rate, the government would have fallen, the bureaucrats would have been fired. Here, they could keep making one mistake after the other, it's a comedy of errors, uh, it's a debacle, um, they're incompetent, and yet nobody can fire them. So they keep doing the same thing again and again. You ask me what democracy is, let me say something very simple. In democracies, the people have the right to ask four questions of the people that make the decisions on their behalf, the important decisions. I'm not talking about who is going to, to, to gather the garbage. These are important decisions too, but I'm talking about the decisions about our money, about our working conditions, about our environment, about our welfare state. We should be able to ask them four questions. Firstly, what powers do you have? Define them. Tell us exactly what in Europe you can't, because they, they, don't, they make them up as they're going along. Secondly, who gave you those powers? They can't tell you. For instance, did you know that most of your policies are being dictated by something called the Euro Working Group, uh, chaired by a certain Mr. Thomas Wieser, who has more power than most of your government ministers. Thirdly, uh, how do you use your powers? What exactly do you do? All the decisions are made behind closed doors. You don't even know what the decisions are, especially in the periphery of Europe, ruled by a totally opaque Troika. And finally, how can we get rid of you? If you can't ask rulers, how can we get rid of you and get an answer? Uh, which you can't here, yeah, because the Euro Working Group you cannot get rid of. The Euro Group you can't get rid of, because as a group it makes all the important decisions, but there is no body like a parliament that can get rid of them. In the Federal Republic, uh, the government can be gotten rid of by the Bundestag. In Europe, there is no such mechanism at all. Uh, so there is no democratic deficit in the European Union. It's not that the European Union is not sufficiently democratic. Um, take, imagine for a moment that you have a, a man or a woman on the moon in a space suit and they take the, the helmet off and they say, oh, there is an air deficit. There is no deficit. There is no air. Similarly, in the European Union, there is no democracy. There is indeed the opposite, contempt for democracy. Democracy is used as a fig leaf in order to legitimize what they're doing. And so why do we need democracy? The reason why we had democracy in Germany, in Britain, in Greece, in the United States was because capitalism without democracy is a very uncivilized uh, system in which life is nasty, brutish and short. Well, for a start, it would be nice if we actually constrain them and right? put some limitations to them, like for instance, I make them pay tax. Uh, stop this uh, regime of uh, the race to the bottom, where they can go to uh, Ireland and pay 12% uh, corporation tax in order to avoid the German tax, then even that they don't pay because they have a deal with uh, the Netherlands, where the, the, the money goes and before it goes to the Caribbean, and then they end up paying 1%. So how about, before we democratize them, make them pay where they sell.